I've often said this, but really we weren't looking for a singer. I think we're all happy in our lives. We do our thing. There's, our lives are very full. So we don't spend our time looking around for a new Freddy. It's just, you know, why would we need to do that? Suddenly there's this guy there who can sing all the Queen songs and howl with an incredible range. He also has a great personality. He's a natural entertainer. He's naturally camp. He doesn't need to <laughs> attempt the, to be that. Uh, he's naturally funny and light. He's incredibly entertaining to an audience, makes that kind of contact that Freddie did. So you have a guy who can sit in that position and do what we need. And he doesn't have to try to be Freddie. He can just be himself, and it works. So it's actually five years, I think, since we first met Adam. So we didn't rush into this. But the planets seemed to align, and we both had a, an opportunity to, to escape from whatever we were doing. And we thought, well, we'll try this. What, what happened was we have just put out the uh, 1975 Rainbow Concerts nicely remixed and polished and the video sorted and they're quite quite shockingly good actually i have to say you know both roger and i were like wow did we really do that you know we were very hard very uh, very heavy outfit in those days and adam saw it as well and we all thought wouldn't it be interesting to go back and and angle the queen show a little bit more in that direction you know the hard stuff the the energetic stuff it, kind of more dangerous i suppose so we have to play the hits people want to see the hits that's a given. But we also have this element where we're doing things like Stone Cold Crazy and Lap of the Gods, Seven Seas of Rye, which are the more sort of hard-hitting core elements of the early queen, as they call it. So that's been a lot of fun. And Adam has really transformed, I have to say. Again, he shares this with Freddie. Freddie, Freddie was always good, but he transformed himself from a, a singer who could do this and that into this really sort of godlike performer. And Adam's the same. He's really evolved hugely. He's, he's much more comfortable in his shoes. He's much more confident with an audience. In fact, it's like he was, he was born to it. You know, he's grown into the part. So it's, it's a lot different from what anyone will have seen in Europe. But the idea was, yes, to sort of transmit the inner growth of Queen over the years. And it does have a sort of forever quality to it, I think. The forever title comes from the track, of course, because the little piano piece that I did is called Forever, which is a version of Who Wants to Live Forever, a song which actually has a new life with Adam now. Adam sings this song so beautifully, it just blows my mind.